the United States and the Secretary of the Treasury, Mr. Donald Regan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Craig, and all of you who are associated with OPIC. See, I've been here long enough now that I don't even give the names. I just use the initials and <laughs> coin all those new words. All I can say is a heartfelt thanks and say that in behalf of the American taxpayer also, and the recipients of your good works. I'm heartened by your comments because I believe the private sector is the best engine for economic growth and opportunity in the developing world. I said as much before I left for Cancun last year, and I said it after I got there. The problems of hunger and poverty are deeply rooted, and they're just massive transfers of wealth aren't going to uproot them or produce any new wealth. The road to human fulfillment is paved with economic freedom and individual incentives. You only have to look at our own history. Was there ever a more undeveloped or underdeveloped place in the world than this great untracked continent? And it was all done without any urban renewal programs or uh, rural development or anything else by the people who came here. And if you want to look at more recent history, those several countries throughout the world that have chosen in their development the way of freedom instead of the other way and their standard of living, Taiwan, Singapore, South Korea, and others, You've proved it. You've also proved it's possible to introduce efficiencies and to put government on a business-like basis. Now, I know that government agencies, not all of them, can make a profit, but you've set a trend that all should follow. Now, I understood that somebody was going to hand me $50 million here today. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, uh, if, if I might just say a word or two uh, as a prelude, to, <laughs> and, and, and I don't, and I certainly don't want to preempt you. No, no. But no, all I, I was I'm doing true. with this I'm audience, all I was doing with this audience before you came was just kind of warming them up. But <laughs> I hadn't really told them what we were going to do today, and now I think it's appropriate that I do. And, uh, and they didn't know what I was talking about. We, oh yes, they. <laughs> <laughs> I gave them a hint of what was going to happen. And I told them, as I will tell you, that you have told the world that the American private sector was going to lead the way towards the development of third world countries. And I simply want you to know that OPIC heard you and the American private sector heard you. And thanks to that, we have had a record year in every respect in terms of investments and insurance projects that we've had in third world countries. You also told uh, the American public that this government, as you just mentioned, can be, indeed, must be run on a business-like professional basis, and I am here to tell you that OPEC heard that message too. Under your leadership in this administration, we have had a record year with earnings, and uh, so much so, sir, that not only can we handle our own reserves for continued future growth at OPEC, but we have enough funds to make a special return to the American taxpayer from our profits, and that return is indeed a $50 million check, which I am very pleased to hand you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, and Craig, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hand this to Don Regan right now, because just imagine if I put it in my pocket and then Nancy sent this suit out to the cleaners. <laughs> we'd, we'd, we'd never balance the budget. Don? Thank you again, Craig, and thank all of you. I think this is, this is really one of, the, one of those heartwarming moments that uh, makes the day a little bit brighter, gray as it may be. And uh, I just, we're going to keep on on this road and 
we're going to find other areas also. So um, be prepared for more budget cutting. <laughs> All right. <laughs>